The concept of karma is constantly in flux, much like everything else in our lives. Our choices in each moment create our present and future, and this understanding empowers us to become the protagonists in the unfolding drama of our lives. However, even in Asia, where the concept of karma has a long history and is incorporated into various cultures, it is often misunderstood. Many view karma negatively and backward-looking, using it to encourage disadvantaged members of society to accept their situation in life as a consequence of their own past actions. This mindset can lead to a sense of powerlessness and resignation, which is a distortion of the original meaning of karma in the Buddhist tradition. To accept the idea of karma is not to live in guilt and vague anxiety, unsure of the negative causes we may have made in the past. Instead, it means being confident that we have the power to transform our destiny for the better at any moment. Karma, which means actions, is the universal operation of a principle of causation, similar to that upheld by modern science. Science assures us that everything in the universe exists within the framework of cause and effect, and, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, is a familiar principle. The difference between the materialistic causality of science and the Buddhist principle of karma is that the latter includes the unseen or spiritual aspects of life, such as the experience of happiness or misery, kindness or cruelty. In 1993, SGI President Ikeda delivered a speech in which he discussed different approaches to the Buddhist concept of causal relations. According to him, this concept differs fundamentally from mechanistic causation, which modern science holds sway over the natural world, a world divorced from subjective human concerns. In the Buddhist view, causation is more broadly defined and encompasses human existence. For instance, assume an accident or disaster has occurred. A mechanistic theory of causation can pursue and identify how the accident happened, but it is silent on why certain individuals find themselves caught up in the tragic event. The mechanistic view of nature requires the deliberate forestalling of such existential questions. Conversely, the Buddhist understanding of causation seeks to address these poignant questions. The Sanskrit word karma originally meant work or office and was related to verbs that simply mean, do, or, make. According to Buddhism, we create karma on three levels, through thoughts, words, and actions. Acts have a greater impact than mere words. Likewise, when we verbalize our ideas, this creates more karma than merely thinking of them. However, since both words and deeds originate in thoughts, the contents of our hearts, our thoughts, are also of crucial importance. Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Buddhist sage, emphasized the pivotal role of our inner life in determining our karma. He wrote, Karma does not necessarily result from the act itself, but from the mind that underlies the act. This profound insight underscores the importance of transforming our deepest life tendencies, as it is these tendencies that ultimately shape the circumstances we encounter. Karma can be viewed as the essence of our personality, the profound tendencies that have been etched into the deepest layers of our lives. The most profound cycles of cause and effect extend beyond our present existence, shaping the manner in which we begin this life, including our specific circumstances from birth, and will continue beyond our passing. The purpose of Buddhist practice is to transform our fundamental life tendencies to achieve our full human potential in this lifetime and beyond. An ancient Buddhist text offers this wisdom. If you wish to understand the causes that existed in the past, look at the results that are manifested in the present. And if you wish to understand what results will be manifested, look at the causes that exist in the present. As such, karma is in constant flux, just like everything else. Our choices in each moment shape our present and future. Therefore, the doctrine of karma does not encourage resignation but instead empowers us to become the central characters in the unfolding story of our lives. Nichiren Daishonin's writings are replete with examples of how an individual can transform their karma through the power of Buddhist practice. In his letter, On Attaining Enlightenment in This Lifetime, he writes, the karma that has been accumulated over a long period can be eradicated in an instant through faith in the Lotus Sutra. This profound teaching underscores the transformative potential of our inner life and the choices we make. 
The 13th century sage further elaborates, if you are a person of great capacity, you can attain enlightenment in this lifetime through the power of the Lotus Sutra. You need not wait until your next lifetime. This exhortation is a testament to the boundless potential within each of us to shape our destiny and overcome the limitations of our past. In the Gosho, Collected Writings, of Nichiren Daishonin, we find numerous examples of individuals who were able to transform their karma through dedicated Buddhist practice. One such story is that of Shio Kingo, a samurai lord who had a history of violence and cruelty. Through his encounter with Nichiren Daishonin and his unwavering faith in the Lotus Sutra, Shio Kingo was able to radically transform his life, eventually becoming a devoted protector of the Buddhist teachings. Nichiren Daishonin emphasizes that our actions, both positive and negative, have a profound impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. He writes, if you want to understand the causes that existed in the past, look at the results as they are manifest in the present. And if you want to understand what kinds of results will be manifest in the future, look at the causes that exist in the present. This wisdom underscores the interconnectedness of our actions and their consequences, inviting us to take responsibility for the choices we make. Nichiren's teachings challenge us to cultivate an unwavering determination to transform our lives and become agents of positive change, not only for ourselves but for the entire world. The concept of karma, when understood in its true essence, is not about passively accepting our circumstances as the inevitable result of past misdeeds. Rather, it is a call to action, a reminder of our inherent power to shape our destiny through the choices we make in the present moment. As Nichiren Daishonin so eloquently states, the Buddha nature is inherent in all people. Therefore, anyone can attain Buddhahood. This profound insight underscores the fundamental equality of all people and the limitless potential that lies within each of us. By embracing the spirit of Nichiren's teachings and the true meaning of karma, we can transcend the confines of cause and effect and become the creative protagonists in the unfolding drama of our lives. Through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the universal law of life, we can awaken the limitless wellspring of wisdom and compassion within, empowering us to make choices that align with our deepest aspirations and the greater good of all. In this way, the concept of karma serves not as a burden to be born, but as a catalyst for transformation and the realization of our highest potential. By taking responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions, we can unlock the doors to a future of boundless possibility, where our lives become a shining example of the power of individual choice and the triumph of the human spirit. The Power of Choice – Transforming Karma in the Present Moment The core teaching of Nichiren Buddhism is the fundamental equality of all people, and the understanding that each individual possesses the inherent potential for enlightenment. This means that no matter our current circumstances, we have the capacity to transform our karma and create a future aligned with our deepest aspirations. Nichiren Daishonin underscores this empowering perspective in his writing, Buddhahood is not something to be obtained from the outside. Nor is it something that comes into existence for the first time. It is the revealing of the Buddha nature that has existed within us from the beginning. This profound insight challenges the notion that our lives are predetermined by past actions, freeing us to take responsibility for the choices we make in the present. Through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the universal law of life, we can awaken the wisdom and compassion that lies dormant within, and use that power to reshape our karma. As Nichiren states, if you wish to understand the causes that existed in the past, look at the results that are manifest in the present. And if you wish to understand what results will be manifest in the future, look at the causes that exist in the present. This profound teaching invites us to shift our perspective from passively accepting our circumstances to actively shaping them through our choices. By examining the causes we are creating in the present moment, we can gain insight into the future we are cultivating and make adjustments accordingly. One of the key elements of this transformative process is the recognition that our thoughts, words, and actions are the seeds that will bear fruit in our lives. Nichiren emphasizes that karma does not necessarily result from the act itself, but from the mind that underlies the act. 
This means that the true power of transformation lies within the realm of our innermost life condition. Through the dedicated practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and studying the teachings of Nichiren Buddhism, we can gradually uncover and transform the deep-seated tendencies that have been shaping our lives. As we do so, we begin to recognize the profound interconnectedness of all things, and the crucial role we play as protagonists in the unfolding drama of our existence. The journey of transforming one's karma is not an easy one, but it is a profoundly empowering and enlightening process. Nichiren Daishonin's writings are filled with countless examples of individuals who were able to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles and transform their lives through the power of Buddhist practice. One such inspiring story is that of Shio Kingo, a samurai lord who had a long history of violence and cruelty. Through his encounter with Nichiren and his unwavering faith in the Lotus Sutra, Shio Kingo was able to radically transform his life, eventually becoming a devoted protector of the Buddhist teachings. Nichiren Daishonin attributes Shio Kingo's transformation to the power of the Lotus Sutra, writing, the karma that has been accumulated over a long period can be eradicated in an instant through faith in the Lotus Sutra. This profound teaching underscores the transformative potential that lies within each of us, regardless of our past actions or present circumstances. As we deepen our understanding and practice of Nichiren Buddhism, we begin to recognize that the concept of karma is not a burden to be borne, but rather a call to action an invitation to take responsibility for the choices we make and the lives we create. Through the power of our choices, we can transcend the limitations of cause and effect and become the protagonists in the unfolding drama of our existence. Nichiren Daishonin's writings echo this empowering perspective, as he reminds us, if you are a person of great capacity, you can attain enlightenment in this lifetime through the power of the Lotus Sutra. You need not wait until your next lifetime, this exhortation speaks to the boundless potential within each of us to shape our destiny and overcome the confines of our past. By embracing the spirit of Nichiren's teachings and the true meaning of karma, we can unlock the doors to a future of endless possibilities. Through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and cultivating an unwavering determination to transform our lives, we can awaken the wellspring of wisdom and compassion that lies dormant within and use that power to create a world that reflects our highest aspirations. In this way, the concept of karma becomes not a burden, but a catalyst for transformation, a reminder of the profound impact our choices have on the course of our lives and the lives of those around us. As we take responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions, we can become the architects of a future that is in harmony with the universal law of life and fulfill our inherent potential for enlightenment and the creation of lasting peace and happiness. Embracing the Transformative Power of Karma As we delve deeper into the Buddhist understanding of karma, we come to realize that it is not a system of rigid, predetermined outcomes, but rather a dynamic process of cause and effect that is constantly in flux. This insight empowers us to become the central protagonists in the unfolding drama of our lives, shaping our destiny through the choices we make in each moment. Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Buddhist sage, offers profound guidance on how to harness the transformative power of karma. He writes, karma does not necessarily result from the act itself, but from the mind that underlies the act. This profound teaching underscores the pivotal role of our inner life in determining the course of our lives. By shifting our focus inward and cultivating a mind of wisdom and compassion, we can begin to reshape the deep-seated tendencies that have been governing our thoughts, words, and actions. Through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the universal law of life, we can awaken the Buddha nature that is inherent within us and use that power to transform our karma. Nichiren Daishonin offers numerous examples of individuals who were able to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges and radically transform their lives through the power of Buddhist practice. One such inspiring story is that of Shio Kingo, a samurai lord who had a long history of violence and cruelty. Through his encounter with Nichiren and his unwavering faith in the Lotus Sutra, Shio Kingo was able to undergo a profound transformation. Nichiren Daishonin attributed this change to the transformative power of the Lotus Sutra, 
writing, the karma that has been accumulated over a long period can be eradicated in an instant through faith in the Lotus Sutra. This profound teaching underscores the boundless potential that lies within each of us, regardless of our past actions or present circumstances. By embracing the Lotus Sutra and the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can tap into the wellspring of wisdom and compassion that resides at the core of our being and use that power to reshape our lives and the world around us. Nichiren Daishonin further emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our choices, writing, if you wish to understand the causes that existed in the past, look at the results that are manifest in the present. And if you wish to understand what results will be manifest in the future, look at the causes that exist in the present. This profound teaching invites us to shift our perspective from passively accepting our circumstances to actively shaping them through our choices. By examining the causes we are creating in the present moment, we can gain insight into the future we are cultivating and make adjustments accordingly. As we deepen our understanding and practice of Nichiren Buddhism, we begin to recognize that the concept of karma is not a burden to be born, but rather a call to action, an invitation to take responsibility for the choices we make and the lives we create. Through the power of our choices, we can transcend the limitations of cause and effect and become the protagonists in the unfolding drama of our existence. Nichiren Daishonin's writings echo this empowering perspective, as he reminds us, if you are a person of great capacity, you can attain enlightenment in this lifetime through the power of the Lotus Sutra. You need not wait until your next lifetime. This exhortation speaks to the boundless potential within each of us to shape our destiny and overcome the confines of our past. By embracing the spirit of Nichiren's teachings and the true meaning of karma, we can unlock the doors to a future of endless possibilities. Through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and cultivating an unwavering determination to transform our lives, we can awaken the wellspring of wisdom and compassion that lies dormant within, and use that power to create a world that reflects our highest aspirations. In this way, the concept of karma becomes not a burden, but a catalyst for transformation, a reminder of the profound impact our choices have on the course of our lives and the lives of those around us. As we take responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions, we can become the architects of a future that is in harmony with the universal law of life, and fulfill our inherent potential for enlightenment and the creation of lasting peace and happiness.